Hi everyone. Welcome back to Python Code Nemesis. Today's problem is process tasks using servers. This is also one of the one of the most asked Google questions list. Let's read the problem. You are given two zero indexed integer arrays servers and tasks of length n and m respectively. Servers of i is the weight of the ith server and tasks of j is the weight of the j tasks of j is the time needed to process the jth task in seconds tasks are assigned to the servers using a task queue initially all the servers are free and the queue is empty at second j the jth task is inserted into the queue starting with the zeroth task being inserted at second zero as long as there is a free server and the queue is not empty the task in the front of the queue will be assigned to a free server with the smallest weight and in case of a tie it is assigned to a free server with the smallest index so first weight comes and then index comes if there are no free servers and the queue is not empty we wait until a server becomes free and immediately assign the next task if multiple servers become free at the same time the multiple tasks from the queue will be assigned in order of insertion following the weight and index priorities above whenever there is something like priority mentioned weight and index priority the first thing that should come to your mind is a priority queue or a min heap let's continue reading the question a server that is assigned task j at a second t will be free again at second t plus tasks of j so that server takes that amount of time to process the task and then it's free again after t plus so this is until not till so it's not inclusive of t plus tasks of j is till before t plus tasks of j the problem is to build an array answer of length m where answer of j is the index of the server the jth task will be assigned to return the array answer now to understand this question in a little more detail let's take an example the first one so servers in v3 3 2 what is this this is the weights of the ith server cool so zero the server zero its server has weight 3 one has weight 3 and two has weight 2 so let's just append the server number for better understanding so updated array will be 3 comma 0 and then 3 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 so this is what that is the other thing that we have is the tasks array so tasks equals 1 2 3 2 1 2 this is the first example what is the tasks array let's go back and check it tasks of j is the time needed to process the jth task in seconds okay so this is the time needed so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so the zero tasks processing time is 1 for 1 it's 2 for 3 it's 2 again for for its one and for five its two that's it also another important piece of information that is given is at second j which we can see um yeah it's given that at second j the jth task is inserted into the queue so at second j jth task is inserted 
into so how was this different from all of the other patterns that we were given is that instead of giving you an nq time it's telling you that this is the nq time so at second 0 the 0th task is inserted at second 1 the 1th task is inserted so your nq time is already given to you here and the processing time is also given and you also have the number the index of the tasks so you have everything you need okay so let's have let's look at the exactly what is going to happen for this example so let's have this current time and then available tasks we'll see what is happening at every single point in time so available tasks chosen task and then we have the free servers that are like the available servers that we have to process that task because we have multiple servers here again and then we have the chosen server so yeah okay so the current time let's say it's zero and what are the available tasks that you have we know this thing so if i just quickly change the color of this so at second j the j task is inserted into the queue which is our available task so available task has task zero now okay what is the task that you are chosen in the available task there is just one so you will choose the task 0 itself because that's the only task that's available for choosing now we'll see what are the free servers that we have all the servers are free so 0 1 and 2 all the servers are free which one will we choose there was something here so the task in front of a queue will be assigned to a free server with the smallest weight and in case of a type free server with the smallest index so in 0 1 and 2 if we look at the servers in this part in 0 1 and 2 which is the server with the smallest weight that is server 2 so this server will get start getting used and till when is server 2 going to be busy server 2 will be busy till the current time which is 0 to the processing time of this task which is 1 so it's going to be busy until 1 so just till before 1 so server 2 is busy until which is very important until time 1 with task 0 okay now we go to server sorry current time 1 and at this current time to this available tasks um queue or whatever we call it like a queue what gets added to here the task at second j it's written here at second j so at second 1 the 1th task is inserted into the queue so let's insert task 1 into the queue now okay now again do we have a bunch of choices nope so we'll just choose the task 1 to use and free servers what are the free servers that we have so we have 0 1 and 2 again why do we have 2 because it was not inclusive of 1 it was like just before one so two is free again at time one so we'll choose two again so that is the chosen server so now if we go back this is a different color server two is busy with task one till 
so what is the duration of task 1 let's see task 1 has a duration of 2 and the current time is 1 so it's busy till second 3 great okay now second 2 let's move on this is second 2 and task 2 gets added to our available list of tasks so task 2 gets added and then task 2 gets chosen what are the list of available servers that we have at this point we have only 0 and 1 because task server 2 is visit at second 3 it's not available at second 2 so 0 and 1 is there and now in 0 and 1 what are the weights of the servers it's both of them is 3 right so if they have the same weight you'll go by the index so the chosen server will be 0 so server 0 is busy with task 2 till second so task 2 right what is the duration 3 and the current time is 2 so it's going to be busy till second 5 Great. Let's go on. Let's say the current time is three, and at this time, task three gets added to our list of available tasks. Task three gets chosen, and what are the servers that we have right now? Is 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 a server? Did a server get free right now? So zero was there. So we have one which was already free, and then we see that server two was busy till task one until. until second 3 so now it's free so server 2 also is there and which is the server one has weight 3 server 2 has weight 2 so 2 gets chosen so we chose the server 2 so the chosen server is 2 now okay and let's go on so server to will be busy till second till which second will be busy so 3 plus the current time plus the duration of this so task 3's duration was what 2 3 plus 2 5 great so server 1 will be busy till 5 now let's keep going current time is 4 task 4 gets added to your queue task 4 gets chosen what does what are the servers that we have we only have server 1 so that will get chosen so here we didn't really have a choice so server 1 will be busy with task 4 till so for this till we need to see 4 and task 4 what is the duration of task 4 let's see that's 1 So four plus one equals five. So server one will be busy with task four till five. Great. Let's just make this table a little longer again. So the first column was current time. The next one was available tasks. The next was chosen task. next was available servers and there was chosen server mm, great okay so these are the ones that we have and now for 5 we are at time 5 now so let's see uh, what are the tasks that are available task 5 is available right now we'll choose task 5 and then what are the servers that are available task this one also was chosen so let's see server 1 will be busy until 5 will be busy let's highlight this a bit you see it's going to be busy until 5 here until 5th second so server 2 will be free now server 1 was also busy till 5 so server 1 will be free now and do we have anything else server 0 was also 
PC till second five, but now it's free. So these three, all of these three are free now. So zero, okay. Zero, one, and two. All these three servers are free now, and then the priority for the weights comes here. So zero, three. One's weight is three, and two's weight is two. So two will get chosen. So chosen server will be two here, and then server two, server two will be busy with task five till second five plus. What's the time that server two is going to take two? So it's going to be busy till the seventh second. So five plus. Two is equal seven. So this is the whole thing. So what is the answer? The answer is two, two zero, two one, two. So this is the answer. So two, two zero, two one, two. This is the answer. So this is this basically tells you which task was performed by which sir. Great. Let's erase this. and then we can start writing the code now before we start writing the code there are a few things that we should think about specifically data structures that we want to use while choosing a server we need to choose the server with the smallest weight right here when we are choosing from the available servers we need to choose the server with the smallest weight and if the weight is same then we want to choose the server with the smallest index and Which data structure lets you do this in big O of one time? Which data structure lets you do this the fastest? That's a priority queue or a min heap. So that's what we'll be using for this available servers um, to store available servers. And then when storing the busy servers, the time when this server becomes free again also needs to be stored along with the server. index so you not only need to store this so here we had this thing where we were you know writing that you know this server is busy till 5 this server is busy till 5 this server server is busy till second 3 and whenever this second is reached whenever this end time for the server being busy is reached then you again want to store it back in the free servers right because it's available now so at a certain point in time you need to know what are the servers that were busy which have n time less than equals current time so that you can pop these from the busy servers and put it back in the free servers because the tasks that were do that they were doing are done so for this we will need to go through all the busy servers so let's say we have a bunch of busy servers and they have an n time and the number so n time and number let's say something has 0 and then no let's say this is 5 and 1 and this is 2 and 6 and then this is 10 and 7 this is the end time right and let's say the time right now is 7 you want to know that server 1 and server 6 are ready they are free now at this time so how will you do that you See what is less than. So two is less than seven. So this one at server is ready to be moved from busy to free. Then again, um, five is less than seven. So that's why one at server is ready. Two is less than seven. That's why the six server is ready. So this is what. This is how at a certain time we'll see if there is any server which was previously busy. but is ready now to go into free server so it will also be there in our option that's something very important to find the tuple with the minimum end time the data structure to use would be a priority queue so there would be two min heaps free servers and busy servers so now let's go ahead and write the code So def assign tasks servers and tasks busy servers. This is a priority queue, but this is how we do it in Python. We heapify it later if required, or just heap up and heap push into it, and that will just work. Index is zero. N is equals length of tasks. What is tasks? The processing time. 
Lass es sein. Dein. And then heapify. Okay. First we need the free servers as well. So we have two kinds of servers. Free servers and busy servers. That's very straightforward. And in free servers, the first thing we want to store is the weight of the server and then the index of the server. Why do we have this servers, the weight of the server as the first element in this list or slash tuple so that when the min heap is uh, heapifying, then it takes the first element into consideration. So it will sort by the first element. So not sort, the top element in the heap will be the server with the lowest weight with this first value. So that's why. And then heapify this. The current time is zero. Answer is equal zero into n of tasks. Why are we doing this? Because we want to know which server processed which task. So it's going to be something like this. So let's say we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have five tasks and let's say 0 is processed by server 7, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, whatever it is. This is the thing that will get sorted. So the 0th task got processed by the 7th server. The 1th task got processed by the 6th server. The second task process got processed by the eighth server and so on. So this is the answer that we'll return. So that's why we have, we are declaring this answer list. So file i is less than n. So we'll be looping through everything in the tasks. So all of the tasks basically. So while the we haven't processed all the tasks basically. We will see the current time. And we want to update the current time to max of current time and the ith server that we are processing. So remember at a certain like, so when we are at task one, task one will get added to the queue at time one. So that's why we move forward in case like some server is there and the time is there. Okay. Hmm. So if not free server, so if there is no free servers, then Current time will be the first one in the busy servers. Okay, so what is busy servers? What did we? What will we have in busy servers? In busy servers, we'll have the end time of the task and the server name. So basically, the first element will be the end time of the task of that server which will end the fastest. So if there are no free servers, we'll move ahead the current time to when the last, like the closest time when a server becomes free from the busy. So this is what we're doing here. This is just so that like current time is zero and then i is 1 or 0, then it can just move forward by that. Now while busy server and busy server of 0, 0, what is this? This is the end time of the server that is, you know, ending in the closest time range. So let's say there's like a bunch of end times, like 2, sorry, 4, 8, 10, and then you are at time 2. This 4 is the closest, like all of this. This is the smallest end time. Less than equals current time. 
So when I when do you know that a task is already processed by that server and that server is going to be free? Only if this busy servers like that servers end time is less than the current time, less than or equal to the current time. So from this we just store the end time and the server by popping it from the busy servers list. So he pop busy servers heap sorry yeah and then heap q dot heap push so this server is free now you can push it back into the free servers list and what do we need we need the weight because again free servers is a min heap the first element of which is weight because that's in the first priority and then the server number so this is what we're doing so this is basically the weight of the server so that's it now we'll just pop from the free servers so we know now that there will be a server which is free because we moved the time forward like in case there were no free servers if there were free servers it's all good if there were no free servers we moved time to the forward to the end time of the server busy server which has the least end time so we will have definitely one in our free servers and when we pop it it is in priority of wait first and then the index and then we popped it from the free service. What are we doing now? We are going to use this server. So this server is going to go from free to busy. So busy server. And then when does this end? So current time plus tasks of I, which is the processing time, which was given in our input and the server number, which is basically our index. Now answer of i is server because this is the server that processes the ith task which is our answer and i plus equals 1. Just move ahead and then return answer. So this is how we can solve the process tasks using service questions. The code for this will be there in the description below. So do check it out. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, please feel free to leave comments or questions and I'll try to answer them. Thank you so much. Have a great day.